Hey guys, it's Tom from Times of Customs here. I am hiding, I'm just, I'm here. I've got the camera pointed down at the worktop today because I want to show you the uh, uh, bits power water block for the uh, Asus Mars. Now what I want to do is show you the water block and fit it to the Asus Mars so you'll get a lot of fades throughout the video as I'm going from stage to stage but I just want to show you, try and show you it done but also try and squeeze it in to a 10 minute video. Now this is the Black Freezer VG-NGTX285AM limited edition. Now I've already had this open indoors because I've taken photos of it and everything for the forum but you can see my fingerprints all over the block. It's all based around one giant piece of Delrin. And obviously you've got the blocks both sides because the Mars is dual PCB. And essentially what it does is the uh, coolant goes in either side, but it goes in one, travels around one water block, and then goes into the other water block and round, and then back out again. Uh, I'll post a picture up, so I've taken a picture of it, and I'll post a picture up and edit it in. And then it also comes with all the tin pads you need for the RAM and the MOSFET. Yeah, there's loads there. Sorry, there's loads there. We can see a couple of 90 degree bits power 45s, uh, 90 degree swivels. An SLI connector should you be mad enough to have two of these. A spare uh, O-ring for the water block all your fixtures and fittings and still quite naughtily arctic silver although I personally would never use arctic silver on a graphics card I always use MX2 or MX3 because it's uh, non-conductive and it's safer to use on a water block right so that's that so I'll move this to one side and I'll go and get the Mars first things first with the Mars we need to get this uh, front cover off which is hiding the uh, second PCB we can take it off just by buzzing the screws out quickly so there we go that's the cover off and then that's the goodness inside the massive heatsink inside so basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work at it methodically we're going to take what I would call the back of the card off first dismantle this and then flip it over and dismantle the rest of the rest of the card so we can get at the two bare cards individually there we go guys that's the Asus Mars all stripped down ready for the water block I'm not gonna pretend I wasn't cacking my pants stripping a thousand pound graphics card down to its bare components actually not that difficult but still nonetheless I'd be pretty worried I don't think my camera's going to like getting in that close I'd have to turn macro mode on and he's doing another shot Yeah, there we go. Primary part of the card, secondary half of the card. I'm going to sign off now. Well, there's the water block. Sorry, before I sign off, I'm going to sign off now. Take this indoors and take some pictures, and then I'll be back to show you fitting of the water block. Hey guys, right, we're back again. We've got all of the. Um, parts marked out with the uh, tin pads in reference to the bits power diagrams 
even I use, you know, I have to use these because at the end of the day it's really not worth risking. So I've checked, I've checked, and I've double checked. Um, all I need to do now is put uh, TIM or thermal interface material, whatever you want to call it, on the two main GPUs and then the three side chips, one of them which is an FN NF200 SLI chip. Um, as I said, I'm not going to be using Arctic Silver 5 which is what it came with because that's conductive and I, you know, I'm i not risking blowing the card up. Um, I normally use a big tube of MX2 which I'll just grab. I buy 30 gram tubes because I get through this stuff like no one's business but as it's, it's going to be a hot card um, and it's quite an expensive card I'm going to use MX3 which has come out recently which is meant to be better. Now, when it comes to thermal interface material, some people spread it, some people, you know, spend ages doing it, but generally, the way I do it is I put a good dollop in the middle, and then when you squish the block down, it will spread out on the outsides, and if you're really worried, put a tiny little bit in the outsides of the block like that. The bits around the outside really aren't necessary because the pressure on the centre little beads there will spread out throughout the whole of the block. And then on the smaller bits, on the smaller chips, you just need a tiny little sort of grain of rice sort of size. This MX3 is quite runny. Um, but yeah, that's, that's generally all we need. And as the block squishes down, it will it will spread out and it'll be perfect. Right, so now it's time to start offering the uh the block up. Uh one thing I would like to draw to your attention while we're here is if you have a look on the water block here, try and get it so you can see. There's there's standoffs and this is brilliant because a lot of the times you ended up you having to use plastic standoffs and uh jigger about with it and I hated that. It's just such a pain in the bum. So the block like that is brilliant. So I'm going to sign off, get this block mounted up and screwed up and I'll be back in a mo. So there we have it. As far as anybody just taking a quick look at this now would see you'd think that was just the standard Asus Mars. It's not until you have a look there. It's like, where's the fan gone? No, I love that. That's amazing. And then, let me flip it around this way. There you go. So, that's it, guys. I am still here. Um, I need a good stiff drink now because this really has had me going for the last hour while I was fitting this, making sure everything was right. I've not got the uh, CPU from Intel yet, so basically I will get this tested over the next few days when the um, CPU turns up. Uh, so I can tell you temps, but last night I was getting, when I uh, benched it on air, I was getting up to like 95 degrees. <laughs> both the cores. I'm going to uh, sign off now because I'm pretty sure I've run out of time already. But there you go. One water cooled Asus Mars courtesy of Bits Power. Tiny Tom Logan out.